Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So today we are building, um, well, I was gonna call it a modern Tudor house. I seen a picture on um, Pinterest and I will link it down below. I always say that I will, but I always forget. But also, I don't even remember if I pinned this one. It might have just been in a related, a related picture, you know, like a pictures like this. And I don't remember if I pinned it or not. But anyways, it was a modern looking Tudor house and I really like that because I don't do a lot of modern stuff but I really wanted to build a Windenburg I wanted to build on this lot right here in the center of town because I never ever ever build in this part of town uh, just because I don't know they're small little lots and it's just I'm very anal about where I build and the type the style houses that I build because to me, I like for it to match the aesthetic of the neighborhood. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is perfect for this part of town. Um, but I ended up renaming this house to a modern townhouse just because when I went to do the landscaping and I put in the backyard, it kind of turned into like a little courtyard. Um, it just reminded me of a townhouse, the way it's shaped and everything. So yeah, it is a modern, no, I'm just kidding, not modern, a town tuned what <laughs> y'all it's like i just woke up well i had my coffee but i'm still trying to function <laughs> so don't mind me while i stumble on my words here but it is a tudor townhouse there you go that's what we're calling it <laughs> and i do like how it turned out i'm not gonna lie i did struggle with it a little bit i usually do the only houses i don't struggle with is my sims 3 to sims 4 series because like i said i'm copying houses pretty much from the sims 3 and then i know the families that i'm building them for so when i do actual speed builds <sighs> unless it's just the house like you know that perfect house um i it takes me a while to find my flow so you'll see here as i start doing the exterior um the landscaping i kind of go back and forth on so you'll see me try some things out but then I finally settle on something a little bit different um, than what I originally had planned but I think it all turned out really nice in the end once I got that flow going I am very impressed with how nice it turned out so here I am doing the floor plan and this house is different than most houses that I've ever built because I really like how there's a separate little entryway and then you have a big open floor um, plan concept for the living room dining and kitchen all kind of flow together and then there's kind of like a little hallway leading up to the stairs in the back which kind of reminded me of a townhouse um, just like the shape of it and like I said and this house is two bedroom it's two and a half bath there is a bathroom downstairs that only has a toilet and a sink in it which is you know I only imagined one sim living here when I started furnishing it, but, you know, I like to have a bathroom downstairs for the guests, or at least a bathroom that's not connected to the master ensuite, just because, you know, I don't want my guests going through my bedroom to use the restroom, so <laughs> I was able to put that downstairs, and then there is a laundry room, and here is the little courtyard, like I said, um, I don't know, I just got the vibe because it's in town, I just, it's different, you know, it's, I usually build houses with big pretty lush backyards with lots of activities but for this house I decided to do something different a courtyard I just felt like it matched the aesthetic and this landscaping that I'm doing right here yeah doesn't stick long this is where I was trying to go with the modern look that I was trying to go for um, so you'll see that I have like a modern looking door I'm using the mid-century modern windows that came with get famous and those hedges for some reason just remind me of something modern but I just did not like how it looked I don't know I just I it wasn't just wasn't what I had in my head I wasn't pleased so you'll see me scrap the door is in the windows and I change them for I think I changed them to the craftsman style doors and windows that came with seasons or at least the windows or the craftsman style and I think they look so much better and I end up getting rid of those like modern looking hedges there the shaped hedges and I put in just some bushes I think that's it did I put bushes did I put flowers hmm I don't know I think it was just bushes but I, I don't know nonetheless I really do like how it turned out 
Um, and as far as like the sim, I imagine living in this house. Like I said, I only imagine one sim living here. Um, I just, when I started furnishing it, I didn't imagine it being for a family. I just didn't imagine a kid living here yet. But it is two bedrooms, so you do have an extra room if you do have like a little small family. You know, this could even be a house for a newlywed couple but i imagine that a female sim lives here alone i imagine her being in maybe the social media career or something like that she does have um, a nice desk and everything upstairs in her bedroom i imagine her being really into fitness not necessarily like bodybuilding or anything like that but she just likes to be healthy she eats healthy she tries to take care of her body so the extra bedroom i just gave her some gym equipment kind of see her being like a little badass too because i gave her the little sparring um, equipment that came with strangerville which i've actually never played with uh so yeah I, I don't know i don't know why i've never played with that i probably need to like start adding it to my gyms or something because now that i'm thinking now i'm curious to see what it's like to watch them spar with it. I've seen them do boxing and stuff, but not with the little sparring thing, which I thought was a cool little thing to add. But yeah, I don't know. I just imagine her just kind of being a very career focused, very career oriented. And, you know, she does well for herself. She doesn't have anybody else really to take care of except herself. So she can't afford the nicer things. This house is, you know, a little bit on the nicer side. Um, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, it could be perfect for if she does meet somebody and they fall in love and get married. It's, you know, big enough for two sims. <laughs> and then if they do have a baby or something like that, if she wants to adopt, I don't know. There is another bedroom and you could easily just take her workout equipment, put it out in the courtyard or somewhere else in the house. But I don't know. I just, I like it. It's different. I like to try to do different style houses. So I try to think of the different areas that I haven't built in yet. And this lot in Windenburg was definitely one of them. So here I am doing the landscape. And this is what I decided on. See, I didn't put any flowers. The only flowers is those flower bushes in the front, which I think is so pretty. I like how it has that wooden gives it that little Tudor look because the only part of the house that has that Tudor, <laughs> is that what it's called? The Tudor wallpaper? <laughs> I don't know, but it's the very top level up there, which is kind of like the inspiration I was going off of. Um, and here I am in the courtyard trying to figure out, do I want to put flowers and bushes back here? And I decided against it. I actually end up putting like potted plants back there, but I think I saved that towards the end um, because I really wanted to get inside. So here we are into the interior of the house and let me go ahead and apologize up front because it is a little bit choppy in places um, <laughs> because like I said, once I usually get into the interior, it takes me a while to, you know, find a flow. Um, so I kind of start on the living room a little bit and then I kind of pick a table out and it just kind of goes back and forth. So I tried to make it not as choppy as possible, <laughs> but yeah, that that is why. Um, and I end up changing that fireplace too because, I don't know, I just felt like that was too big and it, eh, I just didn't. I wasn't vibing with it, but the color scheme of this house, as you can see, is kind of like black, gray, and creamy white. And I think it is so pretty. I never use, um, like, the black wood and... I don't know, I see a lot of speed builds of people using it, and I'm, I got inspired, so that's kind of that's kind of why I wanted to build a, a modern Tudor house. I figured that would be like the perfect style for this, but anyway, I think it turned out really nice, and then those floors that I used in the kitchen, I think you'll probably see me at one point once I get in the kitchen. I kind of um, debate going back and forth between different, different tiles, um, but... I think I ended up, I did end up sticking with that one just because those are my favorite tiles and I love how it gives that pop of color. It's got some gray in it. It's got that pop of color, like I said, and it's got some of the creamy brown. So, yeah, I'm glad with how that turned out. Whew, y'all, I'm out of breath. Yeah, whew. Pregnancy is getting real, you guys. So, I guess um, I can take a little break from the build here and give you guys a little bit of an update on me and how I'm doing. So, huh, I am officially in my third trimester this week, and it's crazy. I'm in the home stretch, and my life is about to change, <laughs> and I'm so excited. I'm getting a little bit nervous, 
for birth <laughs> just because you never know how it's going to go. I have like this plan that I'm going to do it this way and it's going to go just perfectly and then you never know <laughs> what's going to happen. You never know how your body's going to respond or when the baby's going to come. So I'm getting nervous just because this is my first baby, y'all. I don't know what to expect, but I do plan on having him... Um, I don't want to say naturally because I, I want an epidural. <laughs> That's just me. I don't want to feel anything. But my plan is to have my water break hopefully at home and do most of my laboring at home. Go through the contractions. Hopefully he doesn't come super fast. That that's kind of where I'm scared because I'm scared that he's going to come so fast. I'm going to get to the hospital and they're going to be like, oh, well, <laughs> no time for an epidural. And then this is my first child. I don't really want to push one out of my hoo-ha um, and feel it. I don't know what it feels like. I've never experienced it at all. So it just kind of scares me. <laughs> so, I mean, that's my plan. Um, I don't want to have a C-section. Nothing against C-section moms. I'm not one of those people that think that, oh my gosh, if you have a C-section, you're not a real mother. Bull crap. Bull crap. Um, I bet I very could, very well could have to have one. Um, I just would rather push something out of me than be cut open because that just freaks me out. So, I mean, that's what I've been thinking about lately is birth. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, it's coming. <laughs> so, I've been watching a lot of birth vlogs and stuff. And, you know, we have the nursery we're getting set up right now, which is where... I am at right now doing my recording because we have a desk in here so I have a little bit of a nicer setup when it comes to recording it makes it a lot easier on me so that's great we have baby showers we're planning and oh my gosh there's just so much happening but I'm also like getting pretty pretty pregnant and I'm out of breath so yeah if y'all thought I struggled before I'm struggling now <laughs> as far as like my breathing goes, but we're making it, we're making it. But that's me. I'm doing great. I'm excited and yeah, I, I just thank you guys for letting me <laughs> share, you know, the experience with y'all and talk to y'all and y'all are my friends. I know we don't like know each other, but we're friends. You're my friend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so anyways, moving on from me. Here we are in the kitchen, which I struggled with probably more than anything in the house. Um, just trying to find this backsplash because I do like to have, you know, the backsplash <laughs> behind um, the cabinets and everything. And I just, I really didn't know what to go with. And I don't go with that wood. Yeah, I go with that, whatever that is. I don't, is that tile or is that brick? That's the brick stuff that came with Spa Day, I think. Yeah. It doesn't match perfectly, and I, I really wasn't happy with it. I was like, ugh. I, just, I couldn't find anything that matched that tile, but also matched the black and gray. But anyways, that kind of brought out the creamy brown color in the floor. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> We're just going to go with it. But it, overall, um, I think it turned out... Oh, actually, just kidding. Is that what I went with? No, okay. So just kidding. I actually do like how <laughs> the final result. I went with the gray color to kind of bring out the the gray in the cabinets but anyways it's, it's not ideal but it, it worked and I was kind of debating on whether or not I wanted to put kind of like an island right here not island but you know like the wraparound cabinets what would you call that but I just figured that it needed to be a little bit more open there wasn't enough space for that so there's not a lot of cabinet space in this kitchen which kind of sucks so I didn't really clutter it up a lot um just because I wanted it to be functional because I, I do believe she only has one cabinet, which is the one by the sink. To really do any of her cooking, you, obviously you can't use that little half counter by the stove or the corner one. But I did give her a few little decorations here for the most part. I just imagine that she keeps it a little bit clean, especially in the kitchen. Because I know with small kitchens, you know, sometimes it's just better to leave it as minimized minimalized as possible because you don't want it to be too cluttered because it just starts to look really messy but I do put some shelves over the um, stove and kind of put some spices and stuff on it I pull out some of like the chili powder and salt and pepper shakers and spices out of the debug menu and yeah I think that turned out really cute and I don't know why my voice right now is going out which that's not good because I actually have a lot more stuff to record today it is Monday currently that I'm doing this voiceover and I just I have to grind and I have to find time to do it when nobody's home 
because, like I've said before, right now I'm living with my boyfriend and his parents um, until the baby's born and we can find some land and something for us. But right now it's just like more cheaper and smart for us to save money this way. So, yeah, I don't feel comfortable sitting back here recording and talking to myself and Sims with my boyfriend's family like in the room next to me. You know, it's just kind of awkward. So, um, when they go to work <laughs> or when they leave to go to the store or something, I'm like, okay, I got to take advantage of it. And I come in here and I try to do a voiceover, but I'm constantly doing like builds and stuff like that. But whenever they're at work or I have free time, I will jump in and do my voiceovers or my let's plays because I am trying my best to continue the let's plays on my channel, which I'm glad I made the decision to because <laughs> I was kind of worried at first. I was like, oh no, it's been probably a f over a month. I think it was like almost two months since I uploaded Pleasant View, but I'm, it was quite a while. And I was like, they're not even going to want to watch it anymore. And y'all are, y'all are watching it. Y'all just love The Sims 2. And I love The Sims 2 as well. And by the time you're watching this, I have already uploaded my Sims 4 LP. And I hope you guys are enjoying that because, I don't know, I just, I really want to have a Sims 4 LP because... The Sims 4 is just more enjoyable for me to play than The Sims 2. Now, don't get me wrong. I love The Sims 2. It's my OG. I love the realism. I love the little details. But at the same time, I love The Sims 4. <laughs> I love The Sims 4 gameplay. It's an unpopular opinion. Some people don't care for The Sims 4. But y'all know I love it. And it's just been really hard for me to find an LP like that people enjoy because I'm just, you know, that small fish in a big pond. So, anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying that and will continue to enjoy it. So, we have like a schedule going here. I got um, Sims 2 Pleasant View wrapping up. So, then we'll just have The Sims 2 Strange Town. We'll have The Sims 4 LP. We'll have The Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. And we'll have some speed builds here and there and extra random things. I don't want to put too much on my plate because, like I said, I'm three months. I have 12, thir thir almost, no, less than 13 weeks. Less than 13 weeks until I give birth. So, he could come earlier too. Or later. I don't know. But you see the dilemma here. I don't want to put too much on the plate because I want to, you know, try to keep up with things and continue to upload or pre-record or whatever. So, once I do have the baby, I'm still able to upload, like, when he's napping or I'm, you know, home alone and he's na napping, whatever. I don't know. I can still do something. So, I don't want to have too much. So, I hope you guys understand. But, yeah, that's that's the plan here. <laughs> But anyway, we're almost done with the downstairs area. And after I got done with the kitchen, that's kind of where I got in my flow. So things go a lot quicker. As you'll see, for example, this video is about, what is this, like 25 minutes long? Well, we're at about 20 minutes almost now. And yeah, it's take it, well, you know, building takes up most time, most of the first half of the video anyways. But anyways, I just feel like, you know, I was on a flow here. You know, it just goes faster. I have an idea of what I want. But here is that little hallway I was talking about. I've just, I don't think I've ever built a house that had this little hallway that leads up to the stairs here. And I think it's so cute, so different. And I love the picture, this right here that I ended up putting there. I think that is so pretty. I just, I adore the color scheme of this house. I'm a big fan of it. I really am. <laughs> so, I hope you guys like it too. Of course, it will be available for download on the gallery. So, if you want to go download it, go ahead and do so. Give me a follow on there because sometimes I'll share things that I don't upload or, you know, <laughs> just so you don't miss anything. Give me a follow on the gallery. My ID is listed down below. But upstairs here in this landing hallway, which, uh, y'all know, I hate doing entryways and I hate doing the upstairs landing area or hallways, whatever. But this one wasn't too big because I only had this one little area I had to furnish because the other wall was covered in doors. So, I ended up just putting a bookshelf there for space. And I put that modern looking couch there because I never ever use that couch. But since this house is kind of like modern-y looking, I felt like it would just fit in nice. I put a little lamp there to add a little brightness there because it was looking a little bit dull. But I didn't want to have two ceiling lights right there. I felt like it was just a little bit overkill. And here is her bedroom. And I ended up going with white um, for her bedroom. It's kind of like white and creamy and gray. And I think it's very, very pretty. But, you know, I just noticed that I didn't really clutter it up a lot. 
And I think that she would be kind of a perfectionist because, like I said, she is very career oriented and she also is very into like fitness and health as well. So I don't know. I just imagine her being very tidy and a perfectionist. She likes everything just so. But I think her bedroom is so pretty. So I don't have a lot of clutter items on uh, the end tables, which I usually try to do just to make it a little bit more personalized. But I don't know. Some people's bedrooms are just super tidy. And this is, that's the kind of the vibe I got from her. And I did put the closet inside the little fireplace area, which at first I was like, oh, well, that doesn't even make sense. Because, you know, they do have a fireplace. And why would the closet be, you know, a block in that the traffic for the smoke and the fire, you know, it would catch on fire realistically, but Krista, this is a game, this is The Sims, and it's, you gotta start taking it, um, as a, you know, less serious, because I do that, I think, like, very realistically when it comes to this game, and, which is fine, but, whew, I think sometimes I just kind of overthink it too much, <laughs> so I ended up putting a closet there, and I thought it turned out really, really pretty, and here I am doing her desk, just cluttering it up a little bit, like I said, I see her being in the social media career or something like that. Um, maybe maybe a freelancer. I don't know. But I just love the new laptop that we got and the new items that came with the free update with the free um, freelancer career. So I kind of been using those items a lot. Kind of like overkill. <laughs> but it's okay. And here is her master bathroom, which I think turned out pretty. I just ended up using... Um, the white wallpaper as well. I was going to put the gray because I think I used gray like all throughout the bottom floor of the house, which is fine. It kind of just flowed together, um, but I went with white because I wanted it to kind of flow from her bedroom into her master bathroom. And whew, yeah, anyways, I think it turned out really nice. So I'm so out of breath and I'm really thirsty. So as soon as this is over, I've got to go take me a little water break or something. Oh, actually, okay. Have you ever had body armor drinks? Let me know in the comments down below if you've had a body armor drink because that is my ish right now. <laughs> I have craved nothing in my pregnancy but fruit, especially during the first trimester, which is good. I couldn't eat a lot of caffeine. I didn't really want a lot of sweets. I never got like sick sick, but I was very nauseous, didn't have an appetite, and I really just craved fruit <laughs> and I've craved nothing but fruit like sometimes I'll just get an urge to eat fruit and it's just overwhelming all I want is fruit which is good it's healthy I'm, I'm very proud of that craving <laughs> but um, recently I discovered which I've, I've known they existed I've had them before but I ended up getting a body armor drink from the gas station one morning because I was like I want something fruity and oh my god it hits the spot every time because it's got folic acid in it it's super hydrating it's got all these um vitamins in it and it's just really 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 good for you i know a lot of my friends always swore by it when they had a hangover that it makes you feel a lot better it's got b6 in it for nausea and stuff like that but anyways they are so good i haven't found one flavor that i dislike i'm obsessed with them and my gosh this voiceover needs to hurry up because i got one waiting out there in the refrigerator and i really need it because i'm thirsty but anyways that was her little spare bedroom up there and as you can see i didn't do a lot to it it's not very cluttered. I just put a treadmill in there in the little sparring device. Um, I put her a stereo in there to listen to a big mirror and a lamp, and that's pretty much it. But like I said, if you know, you could change that room around if you wanted to to suit your Sims' needs. But down here is the courtyard area. I ended up giving her a um, hot tub because I never use hot tubs. I just, I don't know. I just feel like they don't go. They don't look right in certain houses and neighborhoods, but but like it fit this aesthetic of this house. And I gave her a little grill area, and here I am putting some big potted plants around the house. And I kind of extend that back porch a little bit, so I'm able to put some chairs and stuff there. But anyways, that is pretty much it for the house. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you like it, like I said, it's on the it's on the gallery <laughs> available for download. But anyways, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Comment, you know, whatever down below. Let's conversate. Uh, subscribe if you have not. So follow me on all social media so you know we can be friends and you can keep up with me if you want. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.